You probably thought you knew the Higgs boson, but you were mistaken, my friends. <laughs> Hey gang, Trace here for DNews. I use the word gang in anticipation of being ganged up upon. Last year, when many of our viewers were angry that we didn't put finding the Higgs boson as the biggest science story of the year, it was because neither had the scientists. Physicists at the CERN Particle Accelerator finally announced this week that the particle we found last July is indeed the Higgs boson. It took that long just to confirm it, because it's science, and it takes a while. The Higgs boson is an atomic particle that gives mass to other particles. The standard model of physics used since the 1970s assumed that it existed, but we never actually proved it until this year. So even glimpsing it was a story if an overblown one. People were excited, or, or as excited as you can be when it comes to quantum physics. Saying quantum physics is tough is a massive understatement. So I'm gonna say it again. Quantum physics is tough. It took this long because of the data. Scientists at CERN were 99% certain that they had discovered the particle, but not certain enough to say that it existed. Science don't play that. In physics, you can't just say, it looks like a Higgs, it must be a Higgs. You need to say, it looks like a Higgs, it talks and it walks and it quacks and it has all the proper identification in triplicate just to even get into the ballpark. The problem is physicists can't actually see the Higgs boson itself. They see only what it decays into or what it hits. When that happens, photons are created. Measuring those photons over and over and over and over and over helps scientists slowly become more confident that this is what they were looking for. After all this research and doing the experiment over and over again, physicists are, well, well, they're kind of meh about it. Almost $8 billion spent on a giant particle accelerator, decades of theories and debates and discussions, for what? One Caltech physicist called the Higgs pretty vanilla. Why, man? Why? It's pretty simple. These people spent their lives trying to prove or disprove the existence of the Higgs boson and answer this difficult question. They made theories, they had guesses, they talked to their friends, they had meetings and conferences and they wrote papers and all they were trying to do is answer a question. And then when you finally get the answer to that question, would it make it a little boring to keep talking about it? These scientists have done their homework. They knew that two plus three equals five, but they really wanted two plus three to equal lolcats. That exotic result would change the universe as we know it and throw us into an era of finding new ways to describe the world around us. Instead, two plus three just keeps equaling frickin' five. Now CERN is saying, yes, this is a Higgs boson and we were right all along and it's doing exactly what they predicted, so physicists are a little crestfallen. Don't fret, humble viewers. The Higgs boson has a mass 126 times that of a proton, which makes it a little bit interesting. Due to that specific mass, the fabric of the universe is inherently unstable and will inevitably be torn asunder. But not for like 13 and a half billion years, so don't worry about mm. it. So are you excited by this confirmation or is this story so over? Share your thoughts with us down in the comments and thanks a lot for tuning in to DNews. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and check us out on Facebook and Twitter as well. See you around.